Hello. I want to show you how to clean your strings on your guitar to make them last longer. I'm making this video because I was on YouTube and I was uh, looking up this new guitar string that came out and it's supposed to be brighter and better sound than stainless steel strings. And a lot of the comments I seen on there was Hey, do these strings rust? You know, with other uh, videos of other guitar strings, is it everybody's asking, do these guitar strings rust? Do they rust? And I could tell you from my 15 years of playing guitar that not a one, not one string has rusted on me ever. Never in my life has a guitar string rusted on me. And people are saying, "Or oh, do these guitar strings last long? You know, without rust and uh, or corrosion or whatever." Uh, some people said, "I usually play about three hours; my strings are dead." Or I usually play about ten hours, and I got rust on my strings. And I do see that happen on other people's guitars. You know, like like I'm in church and I pick up a guitar and I look and there's green gunk underneath the strings are right here on the fretboard and <laughs> and it makes me think well whoever has been playing this guitar have they been eating fried chicken and not washing their hands or have they been eating greasy pizza and not washing their hands or did they play tennis for five hours and being all sweaty, come home and start playing guitar without washing up first. Like I said, I've never, ever had a string rest on me. All my guitar strings last me 20 hours of play. After stainless steel strings, they last me about 25. And I'm going to show you how to clean your strings. You should, I do this about every five or five and a half hours of playing and the way I keep track of that is I look at my watch before I start playing guitar and then if I play for about 15 minutes, not exactly, but I do it in like 15 minutes increments and I write it down on a piece of paper and when it adds up to 22 hours or 20 hours, I, I just change strings. But you take some rubbing alcohol and a cloth. This one's a little bit too little, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to you do it like that. Make sure you get the alcohol in the string. That's not a string, that's cloth. But for the sake of the video, make it short. I'm just going to clean two strings a plain string and a wound string. You take it right here, close to the bridge right here. You squeeze it, and you make sure all the rags wrap around the string. Then you do this. Yeah, it sounds beautiful, don't it? Then you take it back. And then I like the rev it. Like that, all the way up the fretboard. And I look, there's usually a little black mark going across the string where you just clean you clean that black stuff off of it that you didn't know that was on your string. Like I said, you could do it every five hours, or you could do it more if you want. And I'm going to do a top string now. But you do all the strings like that. And after I clean all the strings, usually what I do is take it, just wipe all the strings out, might be just OCD so you probably don't have to do that then find a dry place on a cloth and dry the string off doing the same thing And that will clean your strings and it'll make your strings last longer and 
and also before you play guitar wash your hands uh, don't eat no greasy chicken and start playing guitar don't eat no greasy pizza and start playing guitar anything that you eat wash your hands before you know picking up an instrument and your strings will last longer oh also you know it's like everybody's going to these elixir strings and uh, Diodario EXP strings or any kind of coated guitar string because of the problem with that people were having with rust I don't see what the hype is all about of course I never bought those strings before I buy just the regular nickel wound or stainless steel and because in my mind when they talk about putting a coating on a guitar string which it may not do any damage to it but it seems like a coating or something would take away from the tone but it probably doesn't but I don't see what all the hype's about and I don't see how it would help a coated guitar string will help with this tone and if you have coated guitar strings you probably don't want to clean them like I did because you might take off the wrapping on it by rubbing it like that I mean, I've seen one dude on YouTube, he, he bought a, like a 10-pack or 12-pack of, uh, I think it was Elixir Strings, paid well over $100 for it, and Musician's Free must have felt sorry for him or something for spending that much money, and they gave him a, a $50 acoustic guitar for free, one of them rogue acoustic guitars. So, if you want to save your money and just clean your strings I think this would be better instead of paying all that money for coated guitar strings